Hi everyone, uh, I am uh, Dr. Zainab Bora and I am very happy to have Dr. Abhyarthana with me who is a uh, fellow Gujarati again, fellow Rajkotian. Uh, so very proud and very happy to have her here and secure a rank 63 in INICT this time. Uh, many congratulations uh, and, and you know, please give uh, the regards of our entire uh, Cerebellum family to your family. Thank you so much, Ron. Thank you so much. How are you feeling? Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, tell me something about your background. Where have you done your MBBS yeah. from? Yeah, so I have done my MBBS from Jinvas Medical College, Gandhinagar in Gujarat. And uh, I was not the topper throughout hmm. the MBBS, but I was doing uh -huh. good above mm -hmm. average, we can say. Mm -hmm. And during my internship attempt, uh, I was mentally prepared that I'm not going to get a uh, seat and meet PG. So... I was not studying very good. I studied only for the last three months because we had light duties at that time. And yeah. I was like, we will just give it as a try and we'll do it again next year. Yeah. And when I gave my first GT in around uh, December, I got 250 marks in the first ever GT I attempted. Hmm. So I was mentally prepared that I'm not going to get any seat. But three months, I did my best that I could. My family pushed me. Yeah, think positive. You can do it if you want to. Yeah. So I just gave a random attempt. I was sick the day before the NEET PG exam. So I was just like, I'm sleepy. I'm just going to give my exam and come back. Hmm. And I got 515 marks. It was 15,000 rank. I know I was not going to get any good seat. But yeah. that gave me a very much needed confidence boost. Yes. If you give it your all, you can do it. Be it two months, be it three months, be it six months. You can give it. You can do it. So I decided I was getting few seats. Many of my family and friends were suggesting take it. What mm. if you what if you plummet down more in the next attempt? Yeah. But I I just believed that what my dad was saying just before the meet exam. It was yeah. so you can do it. If you think about it, you can do it. Then I started preparing for NEET uh, from 15th April. Then 15 days gap I took after completion of my MBBS and I, I started preparing for it. I was completely focusing for NEET only, nothing else. Mm -hmm. Then after May I and I see 2023, I saw many interviews, interviews on Cerebellum mm -hmm. as well. And that gave me a push. Yeah. Why not attempt November INIC? We, we, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And I was, I got a rank of 494 in November INIC. Even I that time, even yes. that time, people were telling, Ki, mil rahi si, le, le, you can try it. Yeah. But I was like, I know I can do better. Yeah. And I, I, I don't want to give up my branch or yeah. my college. And, and at that time, uh, <laughs> the need was only one and a half two months away yeah so i was like i can take two months of studying more and i'll get at least my dream branch maybe not in i and i maybe yeah. not aims but at least i'll get my branch but god had some other plans yeah. he wanted yeah. me to give i and i yeah. so yeah he got postponed i again attempted for i and i and <laughs> got it this time awesome see so universe works in mysterious ways something is destined for you through ups and downs you eventually reach you know where you are destined to be and that's what you know uh, and and i can sense that in your voice that that journey because while we are living the journey we don't think about it now when you reflect back and you are like ha us time pe bahut easy tha mere liye give up karna but i didn't and that's where it has gotten me today you know so that is that feeling ki I am proud of myself and that is what I can feel in your voice. So, so I am also very proud of you and, and kudos to you. So, Thanks. so if, if you want to take me through the specifics of what all you did, uh, you know, after, yeah. after April, I guess, when you yeah. really started preparing and then what took you to, to the November rank, which was very good. And then what was the final push like? So initially I was just doing my weaker subjects hmm. uh, in April, May. I just decided that uh, what some uh, all the subjects that that I had left in need, mm. I I had to complete it first because mm. I had not touched them. Biochemistry, mm. pharma, and all of them were my weakest for, for. I couldn't yeah. do it. I used to cry starting it. <laughs> yeah. 
वॉचिंग <laughs> then we'll see what happens afterwards mm-hmm. but now i can tell i i'm very good at bio chem <laughs> at least at least for me pg level good that's so, good so i did that and mcqs are a must every day 50 mm-hmm. to 70 mcqs i i used to do it every day okay and e and each and every e and if even if you are not able to follow actual schedule given by mm-hmm. ma'am or any schedule just do it, do e and d anyhow even at the end of the week yeah just do every e and d and then i used to do uh, all the uh, bonus btrs btr bonus btrs pyqs and the mm. best thing was active recall mm. that that is the must i i had completed my first revision uh, till august august okay. i had completed my first revision then august full month i did second revision along with uh, e and d's which had started and mm-hmm. along with that i did uh, pyqs i was initially focusing on only neat but then i when i decided i'll give aims so i did mm-hmm. everything that i could do and after that active recall i have a habit that mm-hmm. i just close my book yeah and just read everything that comes to i have that habit since i was in first mbbs so oh, that what? helped a lot that You're a chronic a active recaller <laughs> <laughs> that helped a lot yeah and also i i um, since 11 12 i had a very good mcq solving uh, skill yeah. so that actually i think that helped me a lot in to get that marks in neat pg as well mm-hmm. because the main thing is ruling out the out the options if you you can rule out the options you can get the answer anyhow even yeah. if you don't know about it, it uh, don't know anything about it so uh, and uh, active recall is a must and after november i and i actually thought that i would be able to do it hmm. i didn't give this i and i thinking that i want to get this rank i want to get into this i was like i'll give it my best shot like, like you said said in the ashirwad session can give the best exam of your life yeah. so i i was simply calm give it your all hmm. and for the preparation i actually kept on revising that is the main thing just keep on revising whatever you have don't add ex- extra information don't go anywhere else yeah. just you have you have this huge resource this is very vast in itself so yeah. just just do it do all of this completely first at least i had i have done at least six revisions in this past one year wow six to seven approximately Amazing. six and a half you can say <laughs> so revision is a must yeah. the the title believe trust repeat that is all you need to do yeah believe in yourself because i wasn't doing that at all believe in yourself trust your source and repeat 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 that's it awesome i'm so so happy you know uh, that that you have imbibed everything which you know i i i keep saying and i stand for and and you know to see that translating into a result and and you know translating into that whole journey not just the result result chalo aa gaya acha theek hai but the fact that you followed every step of the way staying positive and and you know giving it your best shot and that has gotten you the result that gives me a lot of pride so thank you uh, thank you so much for sharing this story i think the takeaways here would be that active recall is something which is very important in mastering the source whatever it is that you are doing you know the fact that you did 6 7 revisions means you made sure isme se sawal aaya wo to galat nahi hone wala hai right so that's something that you made sure 
and then it's the practice that you said mcq practice daily mcq practice solving every opportunity har ek end ek opportunity to learn hai right so that mcq solving is the only thing which will supplement your resource so that's what you did so those are the two components of cracking in the entrance and and you did them both beautifully and and, and you figured it out i think through your own uh, uh, stepping stones yes. you, know, you figured it out ki ha ye tweak karna hai ye better karna hai ye mujhe theek karna hai this is my strong point this is my weak point so introspection and then learning that about yourself is is very important kyunki sabka journey alag hai no everybody will not have the same strategy working for uh, you know but you figure out what's working and you stick to that also a final final question would be how did you take the exam like what were the four blocks like were there any setbacks in between how was that day like that day actually i was quite nervous entering the exam hall mm-hmm. i was literally palpitating that yeah. <laughs> that time yeah. but i i went early mm-hmm. i sat there for one and a half hour i don't mind that yes. i got accustomed to that environment first yeah and um, i just laid my head down i tried to deep breathe mm-hmm. and just calm myself down fortunately uh, my uh, neighboring person uh, was one of my classmates so we chit chatted nice. a bit so that That's- So that helped a lot and, a bit, yeah. yeah and then yeah initially i was a bit slow during of uh, while giving the exam but what i learned from november and i was uh, the uh, last time the uh, pattern change was abrupt like teen char din pehle hi aaya tha yes yes so i i panicked a lot last time mm-hmm. so this time i had that my in my mind that i have i'll have to manage my time perfectly this time and i don't have to panic Because if I panic, time management कितना भी कर लो फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला. So, so I I just I just tried to keep my calm and complete it in in the given time. That is the main thing in this exam. Yeah. If if you are in that moment, you can think critically for each and every question. So English first block was a little bit tough, but then I got a hang of it and I could do it completely within the time limit. How many did you attempt? I attempted I attempted one ninety two. Okay, and and approximately, if you went through the recalls, what do you think would be your score? Because everybody this time is shocked that, ma'am, I had one forty correct. My rank is somewhere in thousands. Everybody has a big discrepancy this time. So, so no, no uh, pressure. But like, what do you think were approximate <laughs> corrects for you? Actually, the thing is, Didn't I recall. Uh, I didn't do the recall after giving the exam. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to get it. Just mm-hmm. shut it off. I'll just see the result on 25th and move on. So okay. I was not in a <laughs> mindset to even check the recall. So okay. I haven't seen it yet. So that's a good insight, I guess. That it's not like people have this conception that toppers ko to saare hi pata honge apne marks and the other ones who come back and discuss. So as if it's not always true, you know. You have <laughs> people true. like you who are just chilling. Ki thik hai, dekhenge na baad mein we'll see. <laughs> I was like, that's I don't nice. want to waste my two days remaining. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. good. So that's I think very important. What what my analysis here is, it's very important uh, again to know what is going to affect my mental status, and and you don't have to run behind the recalls and know how many correct you have all the time. You know, if you want to protect your mental sanity, uh, just stay away from what stresses you. You know, whatever right. triggers you. And I think you have done this uh, two times already, so I think you knew that. Okay, yeah. I don't want to see result. I anyways, पता चल जाएगा. And I and like. even during the preparation hmm. block every negative thing block everything that is hampering yeah. you or distracting you Absolutely. no social media no telegram group as well once two, yeah. once in two three days i look uh, open the telegram for for the yeah. schedules and everything otherwise nothing just focus on what's going in your schedule first great great i think that is so important today because the amount of information overload everywhere not just telegram youtube everybody has something to say and now everybody has a platform to say that unfortunately or fortunately but the fact is you shouldn't indulge if it's affecting your mental health and if it's affecting your preparation and i think that's a very important message for everybody today i see so many students just chatting away on telegram discussing what am i doing right what am i doing wrong answers not going to come from 
telegram answer will come from within you you know so that is what you have to all uh, learn learn from you and and this entire journey so so thank you so much and and final final words for students who now have around one month you know 28 days till need so what would you have done and what would be your advice to your juniors you know who are listening to this yeah so i know it's a very tough situation like ki you have one month you don't want to study now but you have to study just take one day at a time don't think of the next day even yeah so utho see your schedule what you have to do do today complete the schedule uh, for today sleep start the next day don't think about what will come don't think about what rank will you get don't think about what branch will you get that stress is going to affect you more than you think so yeah. that is one thing you just take one day at a time and even if you get your dips take half an hour break take one hour break i, I know i was i was the person who who never used to take a break mm-hmm. i was like i used to feel guilty taking a break ki break nahi le sakte but then i understood that it's important yeah half an hour move is also very good Yeah. but take a break whenever you feel you need it actually don't take ki chalo 6 ghante pad liye ab break lena hi padega mm-hmm. that's that's i guess one, one another thing i i was sorry ma'am i just like no, 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 see you, see all you want yeah. <laughs> go on <laughs> another thing i used to do was i was i never used to uh, keep blocks of scheduling ki mm-hmm. one hour block one and a half hour block or three hours block i mm-hmm. used to start studying in the morning and Continuous always. I get fatigue. You are not stopping hmm. because if you have a time set in your mind, you one hour after break. Yeah. Mila, yeah. So your mind will start getting fatigued, even if you are not. So hmm. just do it as much as you can stretch. Don't fixate in your mind that we'll have to take a break after one and a half hour, or we'll have to take yes. a break after two hours. Yeah. I you I used to never watch uh, see the time as well. Ki it's one o'clock or it's two o'clock. Yeah. It's lunch time. Fortunately, I, I live at my uh, with my parents. So it's lunch time. My pa- mom used to call me for lunch. It's dinner time. My mom used to call me for dinner. I had that privilege. I know. So yeah. just give it your all. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. I would like to thank <laughs> R- uh, Ravi sir, Praveen sir, Apurva sir, each and everyone. their their more their motivation always pushed us every, each and every time and be it uh, be it a signal from god or anything whenever we feel low there is a video for us waiting immediately <laughs> so i have great gratitude for all of them as well and that cerebellum team and thank you to zara as well <laughs> she was the best stress buster <laughs> thank you i will convey it to zara for sure <laughs> she will be very happy <laughs> thank you so much and and you know uh, it was great great talking to you and uh, many more milestones for you to come uh, uh, just keep being uh, the way you are always thank you and, so much uh, and more power to you and please convey my uh, regards to your parents as well great job <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.